Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and as we know, this past weekend in the United States, it was Mother's Day. I know different countries celebrate that day on different days, um, and I know not everyone celebrates, but I wanted to share with you the crafty goodness that Brian and the kids spoiled me with, because we have to do that. So, Brian was looking, and he loves mystery boxes. Brian is my mystery box enabler. He loves them. Um, but he didn't want to do, like, a mystery box that he's seen me open before. So he went out searching, and he decided to try Darn Good Yarns, which is actually a place that has long been on my list to buy from, but I've never actually bought yarn from Darn Good Yarn. So this was exciting to me. Um, at the end, so I'm going to show what we got, and Brian had thoughts about the process because I didn't do anything with like the ordering or I didn't see how it came. It was given to me as a gift, so he wanted to share those experiences with you as well. So that will be at the end after I show you what I got. So he got um, four mystery boxes. And, um, one that was supposed to be a mystery project. So I do know there was frustration because everything was kind of all in the same box. So I'm going to show you how Brian presented it to me as a gift. So just, you know, he did get, so he got the mystery project and... We believe this is the mystery project. It came just three hanks. These are really hard. They're like really stiff hanks. Three hanks of, um, this is Sari Silk Ribbon Yarn. Purple Pearl is the color. It's this very pretty kind of mauve purpley color. We got three of them. Um, it says it's a bulky six. It says there's 100 grams and 43 yards, or 3.5 ounces and 39 meters per. They want you to use a 10 millimeter knitting needle and a 9 millimeter crochet hook. Hand wash, don't dry, don't dry clean, don't iron, don't bleach, all that good stuff. Um, no dye lot, one of a kind. So, yeah. Um, this was very confusing because it was, Brian thinks it was the, the mis the mystery project that was like, you could pick A, B, C, one, two, three, something like that. And I think there was five and he picked number three and I thought, well, that's okay. Cause there's this QR code. And I assumed that was going to take us to the project. I did scan the QR code and it just took you to a landing page where you could join the yarn of the month club. Um, so I don't know what project was intended. We have, we have no idea. Um, I think I'm going to try to make like a crocheted market bag with it. That's, that's my thought. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas on that. And then, um, for the mystery bags, he got, so there was different options. There was like, you could get wool, you could get the silk, you could get a mix. And I think what he said he got was two mixes and a wool and a silk. I don't know. Hopefully he goes through that. Um, but what they came with, and again, he, he put these together because it was all jumbled. So I don't know what was supposed to be in each box and neither does he. Um, they each came with a darn good yarn silk tote bag, which would be wonderful progress, pro progress, project bags. Beautiful. Um, honestly, I don't know which one this is. I've just picked it up. Okay. So we think this one was probably one of the wool ones. Um, so one thing I found very interesting with this is most of the yarn I got was Knit Crate yarn. So my guess is Darn Good Yarns absorbed 
some of the knit crate stock after knit crate you know so spectacularly imploded um i don't mean to make light of that i know a lot of people were left in the lurch and it was uncool what knit crate did in their dissolution um i am i was very surprised when i was opening this and saying well this is knit crate this is knit crate and brian didn't understand what I was saying until I explained why this was surprising because I would have thought we were getting darn good yarns from darn good yarn company. Um, but I mean, Nick yarn is nice. Um, I'm not sad about it. I'm just surprised and maybe, and maybe it was disclosed and Brian didn't realize it, but it, I feel like some transparency there as to what you were getting might have been good. Um, so what I have here is La Brebis Warmer by Knit Crate. That's the first one. It is, this is custom made in Peru exclusively for Knit Crate. Um, they want US 1 to 3 knitting needles, US B1 to E4 crochet hooks, so 2.25 to 3.25 millimeter knitting needles and 2.25 to 3.5 millimeter crochet hooks. So I'm going to say they're saying this is a fingering weight yarn. Um, there's a big sticker over all of the information <laughs> on this yarn especially. So I can't tell you the content of it. it it's been disguised. Um, this is also a Knit Crate yarn, Vidlana ascendance it's a chain spun it feels very wooly again <laughs> label right over all the information um they want us 5 to 10 knitting needles which is a 3.75 to 6 millimeter knitting needle and they want a 3.5 to 6.5 millimeter crochet hook so an e through k um custom made in peru is all i can read this one is a chain construction, but I'm going to be honest, that's such a wide spread of knitting needle sizes and crochet hook sizes. I don't know what they're thinking this would be. There's a lot of um, silk threads from the bag on all of this. Um, I'm get to my, in my opinion, this looks like a DK3 weight, um, but maybe it would bloom when you use it and be more of a four. I'm not quite sure. Based on the needle suggested, it could be anything from a DK to a bulky in their opinion. I don't know. Um, I also got this. This definitely feels again like a fingering weight. This is Vidlana Silhouette by Knit Crate. Again, sticker over all the info. Uh, I do know they want US 1 to 3 knitting needles and a B to E crochet hook custom made in Peru. This is very soft. This is very silky. Um, I will say immediately I am very disappointed about those stickers. I don't know the content of those. I don't know. Like this feels soft and silky. It's plied like it could be a sock weight yarn. I don't know the nylon content of it so I don't know if it's appropriate for socks or not. I, they've As a yarn company they've disguised a lot of the information which disappoints me. Um, I've got this beautiful sparkle yarn. Again, the sticker. Um, URU yarn by Knit Crate. This is... Okay, so it looks like eye liquor sock. So right there it tells me it's probably a sock yarn. Um, this, they want US 0 to 1 knitting needles. They've covered up the crochet hook. They've covered up where it was made. Um, there, it's a very lovely kind of slate blue color. Um, it's got beautiful silver sparkle through it. It looks like Stellina to me. Um, I very much like this because it's labeled sock. I'm going to assume there's some sort of nylon content in here, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I do. I have used sparkle for socks before, but this is kind of like a Stellina that's more like the tinsel. And what I've used for socks before has been like a fully, um, a full sparkle thread worked throughout. 
this is something I would more use in a shawl or something else. And there was one more in here and it had no label and this is how it came. So I don't know. It feels like completely undyed yarn. Um, there you go. <laughs> so, the, I mean, I don't, I know my tone is probably not super excited. I love the yarn. I love that Brian got it for me. I love mystery bags. A yarn company should know better than to cover up all the information. Um, to pay what I know he now paid for these and to get the knit crate yarn that it doesn't sit nicely in my tummy um so disclosure he said the kit was less but each mystery bag was fifty dollars um and he said each mystery bag was supposed to come with five things of yarn um, so here's another one. This one must have been like the mixed one. And this was the only actual darn good yarn I got. So this one has a Vidlana heathered sock in it. Uh, made in Peru, all the normal sock gauges. This is really pretty. It's kind of marled, a pumpkin-y orange with a brown. That's very pretty. I like it. Um, for the Darn Good Yarns, I got Sparkle Silk Worsted in Malachite. This is greens with a beautiful green sparkle through it. That's very pretty. Um, I got, this is labeled a two-ply sport. Um, I assume this is a four because it's labeled worsted, but once again, sticker right across the back. Sticker right across the back. I can see it's a two-ply sport. They want a three to five millimeter knitting needle and a four millimeter crochet hook. And this one is Darn Good Twist Sport Silk Yarn Wildflower Fields. This is very pretty. It's got a yellow base with um, pinks in it. Kind of a... The yellow has a slight green tinge to it, so maybe I'll call it more chartreuse. It's very pretty. And then... I got this one, which is very similar to the Wildflower, but its colorway is Gumdrop, and this has more of a darker pink. It does have a very light springy green and then a more sunny yellow. That's very pretty. Very pretty. And then this one is Sparkle Silk Worsted in the colorway Jasper. And this one is red and oranges with a gold sparkle throughout. There you go. I would give you specs, but once again, stickers. Um, and so that's, these four were the only actual darn good yarns that I got. Um, the rest was all knit crate. So there's one more bag, and here is the silk tote that came with this one the um yeah the straps <laughs> i'm gonna have to go in and fix because on most of them the straps are already coming off of the tote bags okay so i got another one of that sock the heathered sock in this one we have two of this yellow chainette yarn that's the vidlana Lofty, L-O-F-T-I, D-K. So because this one says D-K, I'm going to guess it's a three-weight yarn. They want U.S. five to seven knitting needles and seven to I crochet hooks. So a 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter knitting needle and a 4.5 to 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Custom made and proved. This is very pretty. It's kind of a tonal yellow with, um, yeah, just different tones of yellow. It's kind of sunny yellow to a very pale yellow. I got another one of the shake, uh, the kind of slate colored URU yarn sparkle socks. Very pretty. And then I got one of these, which is Audine Woods. Superwash socks by Knit Crate. So that again tells me this is probably a sock weight yarn. 
This is all very soft. Um, this is a pretty orange. I think Chomps will want actually a pair of socks out of that. So that's cool. And then the final bag he got. Okay, so here's this tote bag. They all have like a pocket on the front here and then the straps. And then the last one. Oh, I still have the cards in it. <laughs> here's the cards. Um, I got kind of a navy Audien Wool's landscape. This, again, based on the needle size, is a um, is a fingering weight yarn in this very beautiful dark blue. It's darker on screen than it is on person, but I would call it a navy. And then I got another of the Labrabis Warmer. And so this one, I again think, is a fingering weight yarn. It's a very, very pale pinkish purpley hue. Maybe, no, I wouldn't even call it orchid. It's, it's very, very pale. And then I got another of the chainette kind of ones, but this is a different type. This is Vidlana Ascendance by Knit Crate. They want US 5 to 10 knitting needles. So again, this is the one that has like the massively strange range of hooks and needle sizes. So I don't, I don't know. It's chain construction. This is a beautiful green color. Um, I really like it. And then I got this one, which is U R U yarn. I believe it's Asher, A S H E R, but could be Osher. I'm not quite sure. On the cursive, how that letter is actually formed. Um, stylistically, this one I'm guessing is a sport because they want three to five. So they want a 3.25 to 3.75 millimeter knitting needle and a 3.5 to 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is made in Peru. This one is a little stiff. Um, this one looks to me, it's not plied. It almost looks braided. So I'm going to say it's probably a chainette construction, but it's a very winter white, kind of dark white with... Um, I'm sorry, this one kind of looks dingy <laughs> in person. Um, and it might be that I have a slightly uh, feeling on all of this. Um, my last one is Audine Wool's Flannel. This is, it's a, it feels very wooly. I love the color. It's like a tonal burgundy. They want uh, 3.75 millimeter to 4.5 millimeter knitting needles and 4.5 millimeter to 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To me, this looks like a, so in the hank, it looks four weight. But when I try to take a thread up to look at it, or not a thread, part of the yarn up to look like it, look at it, it looks more like a three to me. So this is going to be a three to four. Again, it could be one of those yarns that looks like a three when you work with it, but it kind of blooms up to a four. So that'll be interesting to work with. Um... Overall, it's a present, and I love the thought behind it. I love that Brian branched out and tried to get something I don't normally get and wanted to spoil me. That's very, very sweet. Um, there is nothing wrong with any of the yarn. Um, I think what sits weird with me is the expectations and not... I mean, like, in theory, you know the Knit Crate yarn had to go somewhere. But, um, at 50 bucks a piece, this is $10 a hank for all of that Knit Crate yarn. And knowing from experience how they were dumping it when, in retrospect, maybe you should have realized things were going bad. <clears throat> I don't know. But then you don't know the circumstances of Darn Good Yarns acquiring it. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I should check the Darn Good Yarns website here and see if they do say they have all of the Knit Crate yarns. I will give them that...
give them that courtesy. Um, yarn and craft. So, you know, I don't want to subscribe and save. Let's, project kits. If I search mystery here, will it bring up the mystery bags? Yes, it does. Okay, mystery yarn grab bags. Um, no, there is no, there's no indication. So if you look at the Reclaim Silk Five Skeins bag, it's $50. They say it's on sale for 50% off right now. They've got four left. There's a wool. When I select wool, it doesn't change the description. All the pictures are the darn good yarns. You don't see any pictures of the knit crate type style yarn. Um, and the pictures frankly don't change at all based on which grab bag you choose. Um, so yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, if I look up, let's go to the project kits. Um, I honestly don't know if Brian would have picked a crochet kit or a knitting kit. Um, oh yeah, see, I, he didn't get one of the editor's boxes or anything. This was a mystery. He said it was a mystery kit. Uh, I don't want to go through all nine pages here to try to figure out what he bought. Um, and in scanning here, I'm not immediately seeing anything that looks like it's with that silk sari yarn. I mean, like, like I said, he likes mysteries, so whatever he picked was mystery. Let's just say, let's just put the word mystery there. Mm, the only one that's coming up is the editor's box. So I have I don't know what crafting kit um, he could have bought with that. But overall, I am absolutely thrilled that Brian thought of this, that he went to a, a company that I hadn't purchased from before, that he did the mystery yarns. That's always so exciting. You are not seeing, my, obviously, my initial reaction to all of it because I opened that with the family on Mother's Day. Um, so you are kind of getting this as I digested it a bit, but based on this, I would not buy mystery bags from Darn Good Yarns again. Um, I have seen so many people opening up their, their yarn of the month and all of the beautiful, you know, yarns that come in that. To, to get the knit, and I'm going to go back to it. It's because it's the Knit Crate yarn. Had I known, had it been disclosed, maybe, you know, I'd feel different. Um, paying a hundred bucks for any of these bags is ridiculous. That would not be worth it. And I would be raising holy heck if I knew he paid a hundred dollars for this 
50 bucks. Feels more valuable. Um, he did pay for expedited shipping, which I'm sure he's going to talk about in his thing. So shipping was a pretty penny as well. Um, so it's not like he got free shipping or anything for spending up to that amount. Um, it's the last day for Mary Maxim, 99 cent shipping on any order of $39 or more, according to my watch text. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy him again right now, knowing what I know and, and knowing what I got, but like I said, the yarn is fine. I'm disappointed about that one skein in particular that had no label and came just completely messed up because that I don't know anything about. Um, and most of them I really don't know anything about either because they slapped that label right over all of the information. And that was consistent throughout all of it, even their own brand of yarn. Um, so yeah. I love the gift. I love the thought. I love Brian. I love the kids. The yarn, There is nothing substantially wrong with the yarn, but I don't feel, I don't feel good about this purchase on Brian's behalf. Okay, let me know if you've gotten the darn good yarn mystery bags and what you've seen, like, because I've seen Bot open so many of them, and I've seen other people open so many of them, and this is not what you would expect. This was not, this is not what you sh this is not what you should be getting based on what I have seen in the past. Okay. <laughs> You're seeing Erin at probably her most frustrated on Brian's behalf. Um, well, as I said, I didn't, I didn't pick him, but he, these were choices I would have made had I been at the Darn Good Your website buying mystery bags. This is what I would have done, and I think I would have felt the same had had I been the purchaser. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what, let me know if you think I, no, they're my feelings. My feelings are valid. I was going to say, let me know if you think my feelings are wrong, but no, they are my feelings. I'm allowed to feel my feelings. <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, I'm going to stitch Brian in next, so you're going to see his thoughts. I haven't watched his video. He filmed it last night um, after the kiddos went to bed. He said, can you help me set up the camera so I can film my section? And I said, sure. I set it up and walked away. Um, but I do know talking on him, talking with him, um, he has frustrations. And I can only, I can guess what's going to be said. <laughs> anyway. I will leave you with Brian. I will talk to everyone later. Thank you so much. I hope you all had wonderful, wonderful days if you celebrated. You know, regardless, I hope you had a wonderful day on Sunday. I hope your Sunday treated you well. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hi. It's the boy. And I have a few thoughts that I'd like to share with you about my experience ordering from Darn Good Yarns. Honestly, it was an unfortunately mixed bag. Um, the website was easy to shop, although the mystery bags on the website had definitions for um, both wool, cotton, and acrylic blends, but there were no acrylics available. So I got Aaron mystery bags that were a blend of uh, wool and cotton. Um, shipping took a while. I paid for expedited shipping. It came the day before Mother's Day. Whew. Technically, I think it was within four business days, but just barely. And I would have expected them to have more staff available in what I would presume is a relatively busy time of year for them. But the real complaint I have is once the yarn arrived. It arrived in a large brown box. When you open the box, there were the bags of yarn. Just heave hoed into the box. And as I'm sure you can imagine, the United States Postal Service, much like the American Airlines baggage handler, was not gentle with that box as it went through the system. So the contents of the bags ended up all over the box. And in fact, one yarn uh, got so messed up, uh, you'll, as I'm sure you saw uh, in Aaron's video. 
So that was very disappointing. We ordered multiple mystery bags. It was a mystery which yarn went to which bags. The kids and I just kind of shoved it all in there. Uh, and then worse, I bought a kit uh, that was like a small mystery kit. Uh, and it just seemed to be three kind of skeins of yarn, but no notion, no pattern, no nothing to make it a kit. Um, and perhaps I misunderstood what I was buying there. But uh, again, just expected something a little bit more. So darn good yarns, you kind of get a B minus. Like the yarn was pretty. Um, I don't think it was the greatest of all values, to be honest with you, based on what, what I paid and what we received. Um, it wasn't bad. The shipping wasn't bad. It wasn't late. Um, you know, it wasn't like a ton of stuff was damaged, but it just wasn't the best overall experience. Um, so darn good. You can do darn better. That's, that's the boy report on this one. Thanks.